Emojis are more than a millennial messaging fad. Think of them as a pop art primitive language. The tiny characters represent the first language born of the digital world, designed to add emotional nuance to otherwise flat text. I thought today it would be fun to make some emoji nonverbal cues for our many, 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 many Zoom and FaceTime calls that we're on nowadays. You could use these with your family on calls or in the classroom, if it's okay with your teacher. Instead of blurting out or interrupting, you could just use an emoji sign to show how you're feeling. So let's get started. Today, I chose five different emojis to make. Love, sad, excited, laughing so hard I'm crying, and thinking about it. For supplies today, you'll need paper, scissors, a circle template, I'm using a soup can, pencil or juicy Sharpie, some coloring utensils, I'm going to be using some markers. You'll need tape and some sort of stick like a popsicle stick or old pencils. To begin with, we're going to use a, our circle template. So today, um, I actually had to go to a soup can so that all of those circles would fit on one piece of paper. So you hold it with one hand and you trace with the other. Excuse my hand. Come around. And you're going to have a circle. You're going to do that five times. Now it's okay if they don't come out completely perfect. We're going to be cutting these out. So don't worry about that. I am actually going to use a pencil for um, to sketch these out first. And if you guys remember, we always use a whisper of a pencil in case you need to erase something um, if you make a mistake. So I'm going to start with the love emoji. So I'm going to make two giant hearts for the eyes, like so. So there are my two hearts and obviously a big smiley face. Now I'm going to color this first one in. I always like to start with yellow if I'm using yellow so that it doesn't mess up the yellow marker if I go over another color. We don't want to sully that marker. So I am going to just color in my whole emoji face. I'm going to avoid the heart areas. I love a good juicy marker. You guys all know that. And if you go outside the lines, it doesn't matter because we are going to be cutting these out. So there's my beautiful, happy, smiley face. And now I'm going to use my red juicy marker and I'm going to color in my beautiful red hearts. And you could use, even use just a plain old black marker. I'm gonna use a Sharpie um, to do my big smiley face. There's Next we'll create our sad emoji. And it seems a little funny, but um, I am going to start with two smiley faces, smiley lines. So for the eyes, I'm going to do two smiley lines like that. And then I'm going to give it some sad eyebrows, two diagonal lines like that. And then just a straight line to give it that sad look. Not technically a frowny line, but I don't feel so great line. And then again, I'm going to color it in. And since I used Sharpie to start with, I can just go directly over that. It won't smudge or smudge. Um, Sharpie is a permanent marker. My excited emoji has those two hands like, oh, I want to hug you. So that's a little bit more complicated. I'm going to go back to the pencil because maybe you might make a mistake and that's okay. We're going to start with the thumb line. So your thumb would look like that. And then we would have your five fingers and it comes right back to join with a point. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. The thumb line is a little shorter. And then four fingers and meet back at the end. Next, we are going to do just the basic smiley face. And for the eyes, the opposite of our last one, we're going to do two frowny lines to make those eyes. I'm going to trace over this with my Sharpie. Now, hopefully, if you had did, done this in pencil, you could erase that line right there, but I did it in Sharpie so you could see it better. We'll just pretend I did, right? And I'm going to color this bad boy in just like that. I'm so excited for this one. 
I would use this one all the time because I'm excited about teaching these art classes. And if you have colored pencils available or even crayons, you could even give some rosy cheeks to this emoji. This next emoji I use all the time when I'm texting with my friends. It is the laughing so hard that I'm crying. So we're going to start with two frowny lines for the eyes. It seems silly that we're using frowny lines for the funny ones, but, and then my eyebrows. And underneath on the corners, we're gonna do two teardrops because we're laughing so hard that we are crying. And then the mouth is like a big guffaw mouth. So I would do a shallow smiley line and then a giant smiley line. And we're laughing so hard that we can show our teeth. So you could do a horizontal line like that. I'm going to now with my black marker, color in the bottom half of this smiley like this. And then you're going to, before you do, well, I would do the yellow first because we don't want to sully our yellow marker, but make sure that you leave the teardrops without color in them and the teeth without color in them. You don't want people to think you have yellow teeth. What? I brush my teeth. They should not be yellow. I hope you do too. And now I can take my blue and I can fill in those teardrops with the blue color. So my last one, the thinking about it emoji, is a little bit more complicated. That's why I saved it for last, the best for last. So we're gonna do that hand on the chin. So it looks like you're like, hmm, with your hand on your chin. So we're gonna start with the thumb, which is up. And then we're going to do that pointer finger like that. And then we're going to do the fingers that are folded over. So we have one, two, three fingers folded over and we're going to join them all together. So there's my, hmm, I'm going to do kind of a diagonal line like I'm thinking about it. Two dots or circles for my eyes. And then I'm gonna put some thinking eyebrows on there like that. So it doesn't look like, hmm, I'm really thinking about it. And then of course, I'm going to color it in all yellow. Now we're going to cut out our emojis. And if you guys remember that analogy from when we were in school, I like to think about cutting like a car on a road. We're going to be driving our car and we drive our car very slowly and we stay on the road. If you drive too fast, you go off the road and we don't want that. We don't want any accidents like that. So take your time, stay right on the lines and cut all five of your circles out. It might get a little tricky for the excited and the thinking about it around the hands. But again, if you take your time, you should be fine. Now I have all of my emojis cut out. They look super cute if I do say so myself. And so we're gonna flip them over and on the back side, we're going to tape our either popsicle sticks or pencils or whatever you have that would um, work and tape them onto the back side. Now I would make sure that they are going straight up and down so that you don't put them on so they're a little wonky. We don't want any wonky emoji emojis. So here is my emoji, here's some tape. I'm gonna tape all those on like so. So now you have some great little emoji signs, some little nonverbal cues. So the next time you're in a Zoom meeting and something's super funny, but you don't wanna interrupt, you can just hold up that sign. Or if you really love something that your teacher's doing because she's so awesome, you could use that one. Um, if your teacher asks you a hard question and you're kind of waiting, but you don't want her to think you're not listening, you say, oh, I'm kind of thinking about it. That makes me sad, I didn't get my work done today. And then oh, I'm so excited for these emojis. I can't wait to see what you've done.